We're learning new information tonight about a gruesome murder scene in Vermont's Northeast Kingdom. Thanks for being with us at 5. I'm Liz Streppa. And I'm Brian Collar. And we want to start this half hour by warning you that the details of this investigation may be disturbing to some viewers. NBC5's Adrian Pastor is live in Orleans. And Adrian, the original call came in last night from a home there, but the investigation is ongoing. What have you learned? Yeah, Liz, Brian, we learned that police have arrested 23-year-old uh, Sorrell Brown after they came to respond here on Water Street. And as you can see behind me here, crews are still actively on scene. And this is a pretty busy area within the village near the post office and the local library. Now, appearing inside the courtroom in Newport this afternoon, Brown pled not guilty to two counts of second-degree murder. Police got the call just after five yesterday evening. Uh, court documents say Brown entered the home by breaking through a window Witnesses called next door called 911 and told police he had a baseball bat with him. The prosecutor says the victims were brutally beaten. They are identified in court documents as Steve Luisi and Paula Bro, and it's believed that the couple had known Brown for a number of years. Nearby neighbors calling the incident a shock to the community. You know, just tragic circumstances. Uh, I've known the, um, the victims for many years, um, and... It's just, you know, terrible to have happen in your own hometown. An autopsy is expected to confirm the victim's identities as early as tomorrow. A possible motive is still unclear at this time. Now, there was discussion in the courtroom this afternoon about the mental state of Sorrell Brown. And as of right now, he is being held without bail before needing to undergo a psychiatric evaluation. And that's going to be happening before a future court date can be set. We're live in Orleans tonight. Adrian Pastor, NBC5 News.